How's it going guys, Sharbox here. So for today's Roblox video, I actually wanted to make an entire vid covering the Roblox desktop beta app. Because if you guys didn't know, yet again, the desktop beta app has had another update. If you're not sure what the desktop beta app is, I have made several videos about it already. It's a bit strange. It's kind of like the desktop version of Roblox combined with Roblox mobile. Don't get it confused with the Roblox Windows app either. That's a completely different thing. I'm not gonna lie, personally, I really don't like the desktop beta app. You know, if you're just going to play Roblox on PC, just use it in like a web browser. I don't know why we need this stupid app, but yeah, Roblox keep on updating it and developing it. So I guess we are going to check out the new updates in today's video, because yet again, Roblox is promoting it for everyone to use. Over on one of my old accounts, I literally just made this like a few minutes ago. You guys can see it popped up here. Explore Roblox in our desktop app. Millions of experiences by people like you. Now, obviously you could literally go to the discover page Page and play some of these games. Yeah, I don't know why Roblox are promoting this again. If you don't like this message, you can click the cross. But in this video, I guess I'm going to open it to show you guys the new updates. We can open it in a few minutes. First of all, I got a tweet here from As a Fact I'm Wanted. And they actually sent me a video of the new menu in the desktop beta app. Well, it's actually the old Roblox menu. I guess so many people hated the new menu that they enabled on the desktop beta app. So Roblox themselves actually reverted it back to the old Roblox menu. Okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah, so here's a tweet from Jordan as well. I guess they've done a few changes. They brought the old menu. There's like a pop-up thing which says close Roblox back to home. And there's like some changes on the homepage. Oh, this update looks pretty cool. So when you select a game, it has like a whole profile background banner thing. Yeah, I like that. That looks very clean. Here's another look at the menu. So this one's the old one and then this one's the new one. But Roblox scrapped the new one. Now only the old one exists. That's kind of funny, actually. It's always mad when Roblox bring out these new updates. Nobody likes them and they just end up getting deleted. The new menu was kind of crap though. So anyway guys, like I was saying, now let's take a look at the new desktop beta app for ourselves. The reason why I'm using an alt account is because if you create a brand new Roblox account at the moment, this message literally appears straight away. I think on my main account I closed it by accident. But anyway, let's click on open. Let's see what happens. So it's going to say Roblox is now loading. We have to click on open link. Kind of like how you would with a Roblox game. Then it's going to say starting Roblox and I think it's about to load. And it loads up like this. Updated agreements. We are going to click on I agree. And there you go. We are now in the desktop beta app. You've got the new like bell icon thing up here. I noticed my graphics card started running when this app opened. That's kind of interesting. I guess it literally runs like a Roblox game. Anyway, guys, you've got your home page. You have your discover page for all your games and stuff like that. Then this one here, I think is your avatar editor. Yeah, so it's like Roblox mobile, right? You've got customize and you also have shop. On the next one, you have, what's this, messages. Yeah, so I'm not friends with anyone right now. And on the last one, you actually have settings. Or basically everything, right? Including settings. Catalog, premium, profile, friends, groups, events, inventory, messages, create, blog, settings, about, help, quick login. You guys get the idea. Log out of your account as well. Basically, it says no way near as good as the web browser version. We can't use plugins for a start. Like, that sucks. Also, I wanted to show you guys in today's video, apparently now it's very difficult to exit the desktop beta. So yeah, I want to do like a mini guide on that. Anyway, I guess we might as well check out the new menu. Also the banner update as well. What should we do? Bee Swarm Simulator? I haven't played that in years. There you go. So there's the new banner update. I guess it doesn't really work for every game. Let's try another one. What's this? Anime Fighters or something? Yeah, Anime Fighters. Okay, on this game it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, it's literally different on every game. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, I think it really depends on the game if it's going to be good or not. Like on some of them, like Zoo Tycoon, it just looks way too pixelated. What about the George Ezra event? What does it look like on that? Not bad. You're not terrible. Anyway, we were going to test out Beast Swarm, weren't we? So let's go and play a game. Let's go and see the new menu. One good thing, I guess, it does seem to join games a lot faster. So if I click on the menu thing, it comes up like this. Yes, it is the old menu now. That's mad how they literally deleted the new one. They were working on the new menu for ages as well. And they literally scrapped it and deleted it. Okay, that is a bit funny. Anyway, let's go and leave the game because I don't really like simulators, if I'm being honest. Does it leave fast? Oh, it does. It leaves very fast. Oh, maybe not. Is my thing frozen? Wow, that was glitchy. Oh, dear. Okay, so now let me show you guys how to disable the Roblox desktop beta app. First of all, guys, you want to press F11 on your keyboard. And what this is going to do is exit full screen mode. You then want to go ahead and click on the cross to close out of the beta. Now, once you've closed out of the cross, you should be on your normal account just like this. You actually want to log out of your account. So yeah, make sure you save your password. Make sure you save your email address and everything 
everything like that. But yeah, like I was saying, go and click log out. I remember my password, so I'm just going to click on accept risk. Then it's going to bring you to the sign up page. What you guys want to do is make a new account, but to make the account incredibly old, literally make it like, I don't know, 1926 or something. Then enter a random username and password. It really doesn't matter. So there you go. That's perfect for me. I'm just going to choose one, click on sign up. Then once you're on a new account, you want to go and literally play any Roblox game to automatically open the desktop beta app. So let's go with adopt me. I guess that's a good example. Let's click on open link. And once you're on the game, guys, everything should look normal until you go and leave. And it's going to open with the new menu. You then want to click on back to home. Give it a second, guys, because this bit might be very laggy. I don't know why. But anyway, it's going to open the beta app yet again. Click on I agree, then go to your settings and it should actually let you disable. I don't even know why this is a thing. It's honestly so strange because as you guys saw on my previous account, which had my actual birthday in it, I didn't have this. And as you guys know, I'm over 18. So yeah, I'm so confused. I guess you literally have to be 100 years old if you want to disable the desktop app beta. So strange. Anyway, let's click on disable beta. Then you want to click yes, disable and exit. And then guys, it should be gone. As you can see, successfully disabled Windows beta app and you're all good to go. You can now log out of your stupid old account. You can log back into your normal account. So as you guys can see, I logged back in. Let me now close off this message because I don't want to make the same mistake again and open it. And now I'm back on my Sharkblocks alt account too. And now the beta app is not working. I can actually prove that to you guys if I go ahead and join any Roblox game. Let's join Natural Disaster Survival. There you go. That's brilliant. So let's open the link. And there you go, guys. Now everything is back to normal. And if I go and leave this game, everything should be fine. The desktop beta won't open again. So there you have it, guys. That's all of the new updates. And that's also how you disable it. Very strange. Roblox is very glitchy at the moment. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.